Hi everyone, this is Daniel and I'm one of the assistants at Improve Life. So I'm going to be explaining the final step in the application process. So this website some of you may be familiar with already, but if you're not, that's okay. You can always go back to the main page. So this is the main site that you'll come across for Improve Life. Just scroll down and click apply for an appointment. And that's where this brings you. So all these options you can click to book appointments. However, if you are a new patient, you will know to click this one, the initial assessment. Click continue and here are the spots that are open on the calendar. Just know that even if you see many openings on the calendar, it does not necessarily mean that we have room to take on more new patients. So the faster you get everything in, the more likely you will be able to get the new patient opening. So after that, the next step is to add your card information to your account. So how do you do this? Well, if I go back, on the top right, you'll see that I've technically already logged in because it says my appointments and sign out. But for new patients who haven't, you're going to click sign in on the top right and the system will prompt you for a phone number. So you're just going to put your phone number in and the system will text you back a password. So once you do that, you've created your account. So I'm going to click my appointments and that should bring you to this. This is technically your account. So as you can see, I've not made any appointments uh, because I just created this account and I'm just going to show you um, how to add information. You're going to click on view my profile. That should technically bring you to here. Now, as you can see, you're going to add your contact information and preferred methods of communication. Please make sure this is all accurate. And what we just talked about, you're going to add your card. Go ahead and do all this, add card. And once you have added your card and paid the $50 non-refundable fee to hold your spot, the space we have to take on a new patient will be saved for you. So this step is due as soon as possible but definitely within two days of starting your application. After that, the very last step is to send in a photo of your ID and your signed paperwork. So I'm going to go back to the main page here. And our frequently asked questions page, you can see right here, you can see all of the things that most people ask. And in fact, about 95% of all questions we receive can be answered by looking at this page. It's very helpful. The paperwork and ID should be sent in as soon as possible so we can get started on your account. It is definitely due 48 hours prior to your appointment. Please note at the end it is illegal for any doctor or dentist office to treat a patient without informed consent. We appreciate your understanding and I hope this was helpful.